I am Ultrazilla, and today I have a review of the Revoltech Vulcan Log Sengoku Majin Go Shogun Real Form Version. All right, my Zillions, doing another Revoltech in a row here, uh, and this is a super robot. Man, I got so many super robots to do of various um, degrees of like gokinness, expensiveness, all that. Uh, but this is uh, on the quote unquote lower end. It was still good 60 bucks here um that i spent uh, on this but all the, i think i spent less on it because i got it on sale at hlj always take advantage of those hlj sales if there's one thing you get from uh ultrazilla is take advantage of that especially with revoltech stuff they have a lot of revoltech sales whenever they have bigger sales a lot of revoltech stuff on sale that's when i kind of like getting them more um especially some of the root super robot stuff it's it goes back to uh, the earlier days of my collection. That's the stuff I started getting most Super Robots from was uh, Revoltech. So really cool. This is uh, a little bit later on when they started the Vulcan Log subline. I don't know what it's all about. I really don't know the history of Vulcan Log, Union Creative, Revoltech, how it all meshes up. I don't know what is a separate... <laughs> Is it just powered by Revoltech? I don't know. Um, I have no idea how that all goes. If anybody cares to explain it to me, please do. Go Shogun is uh, a super robot that I uh, always gravitated to, even though I don't really know the series super well. I always known Super Robot, but not really hugely familiar with the series itself. Uh, but I've always dug it, especially the regular form. It looks really cool. I do have a version of that. Uh, that I might get to as well at some point, but this real form version is really cool. Don't know what the history is of this either, but the colors are really awesome and kind of different for a super robot. So let's get into it. For accessories, Go Shogun comes with a Revoltech stand. Always very nice. You get a bunch of different hands. You got some open hands. Uh, then you got a holding hand and you got two hands here. Uh, for his bazooka with the trigger already in there. How nice is that? I like that. And you get another hand that's also attached to his uh, Go Saber, uh, which is cool. Uh, done in silver, as you can see, with a yellow hilt. And you would just take that out, just straight pegs in. So that's really, really simple. Put that in, and then you got Go Shogun with his Go Saber. You also have the bazooka, like I was just saying. Uh, there's a trigger, there's the edge. Nice sculpt, just done in gray. Then you got white up there with the uh, bombs, I guess. Um, so to put in one of those hands, you just slip that out and then you could just pop that in like that and put it in his hand, which is great. He could do either or. And now, Go Shogun has his bazooka, and it looks really good. Shogun has uh, two backpack parts. He has one, just plain, simple green. Looks good. But then, you get this one with this uh, Go Glow? Oh, it's Go Flasher. <laughs> it's a flasher. Um, so, yeah, really nice. Translucent yellow with black in there. Really nice looking effect. I do dig that a lot. And finally, we get two versions of uh, his glow, go, go, <laughs> go stick, uh, which that could come out of. So you get just a uh, spear. Then you got this part, which is like a ax done in silver. You got red in there, really nice. Uh, here is a longer one and you do have uh one uh, open hand for that so you know with this it's not really a spear i guess you could just open it up i always forget this stuff and pop it in there and then pop the top part on i won't go all the way with it because i'm not really super fond of this um so it is what it is i do like the bazooka and i do like the saber but yeah you get it taking a look at this go shogun first off Let's look at the proportions. It's a little weird, in my opinion. The legs are kind of long. The torso is kind of short. Um, but it kind of goes with the aesthetic. The overall aesthetic that uh, 
you know, the, the sculptors here have done before. Uh, I don't exactly know who sculpted this one uh, in particular, but uh, there is an overall aesthetic to a lot of the Revoltech robots, especially the older ones. Um, you know, and this, even though it's Vulcan Log, um, you know, you still got that same type of aesthetic. I could, like, get, like, uh, some older ones, like Gordon Logan, uh, from my collection, and it would be very much the same type of aesthetic proportionally, you know? But taking a look a little bit closer, it is pretty good. I really like the head sculpt, and these colors really are cool. Very different for a super robot. I do like it. Uh, again, this is the real form. I don't know why, what that means, but it looks super cool. I, I do dig it again. I'm not, you know, I don't claim to know that much about Go Shogun, but this is really cool. I really like this head sculpt. The eyes in yellow, then the blue around the crest and the uh, yellow horn all look pretty good. I think the sculpt isn't bad. Quick look at the back. You got this backpack, which we saw already. It looks pretty good. The rest of it, it's kind of plain in the back. Nothing crazy to talk about. Shoulder pads are very nice. You know, maybe the paint is not 100%, you know, in line every <laughs> step of the way. But it doesn't look bad. And I do like how it's like a double, like, shoulder pad uh, almost. His gauntlets are really cool. Like the symbol there. Like the symbol in the middle. Very, very nicely done. Nicely sculpted. Then, oop, and I just pulled out the hand, but that's not important right now. Hip skirts are really cool as well. You got that same thing going on. Uh, very, very nice. Really cool sculpt all around. These things move. I forgot to mention that before. Oh, where am I? How about we move back a little bit so you can see me a little better. <laughs> see, go Shogun a little better. Um, these things move. These things move. The legs are okay. Again, you do see those joints but you know if you put that down you don't see them that much and the uh feet on down the uh boots on down are pretty big again it's not super super clean but it gets the job done it looks pretty decent i would say so all in all i mean proportionally it's a little weird but it's not terrible um it, it's got a good super robot proportions i would say and that is not bad. For articulation, head is on a Revoltech joint. So is the neck. We get a decent range of motion. Big Revoltech joint in the midsection. Can go side to side, clicks and clacks. There is, there is not. I thought there was something in the middle here. I do see the Revoltech joints, but that's a joint to hold these hip skirts, interesting. So really nothing in the middle, uh, in the midsection there, in the waist, I should say, the midsection, I guess would be up here. Um, then, as you can see, there's these big Revoltech joints in his shoulder, but the uh, shoulder pads do not move, so that's static. It is a little bit hindered, but you can swivel it around fine. Um, then you get some swiveling at the elbow. And of course you can move it like that as a hinge, but not really the other side of the, the joint there. Uh, you do get a hinge at the wrist and you can swivel that. The legs, you gotta be careful because the way they put the joints can come outwards and you can go upwards there, and then swivel at the top of the thigh, but you will possibly pull out the Revoltech joint from there. This joint is kind of covered, which is good, and you have a really great range of motion, which is awesome. You can rock the ankle, and then the rest is Revoltech jointed. So, it's a little hindered here and there, but um, it's not terrible for a robot. I don't mind it. For your size comparisons, here's Go Shogun with a bunch of robot-like figures you might have in your collection. And my final thoughts, this is a really cool super robot. I do dig it. Portions are a little weird, but it's kind of in line with the rest of the Revoltech super robot line that I have at least. So that's not super bad. It's got really great accessories, a lot of them to boot. 
So you get a really good array of stuff. I think the pink could be a little bit crisper, but otherwise, really good colors. I dig it overall, so nothing really bad to say there. All right, guys, that's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts below, and please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Till next time, peace out, peeps.